Hi, Ukulele Mike here with our tips and advice lesson on finger picking or finger style ukulele. If you've ever wanted to go beyond strumming chords but want to do something a little more complex, a little more interesting perhaps, then finger style is for you. And if you've ever thought it's difficult to do, believe me, it's actually very easy. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, what I'm going to have you do is place your thumb on the fourth string, place your index finger on the second string, place your middle finger on the first string. Now, make sure that the thumb is slightly ahead of the fingers. You don't want the thumb back here. If it is, then slide the thumb up and look what happens to my fingers. See how they curve? They form a nice curve and because the stroke, the free stroke or the Tarando stroke as we call it, happens from the second knuckle and the, the, the finger has to be free to swivel on that knuckle. Okay, so the thumb has to be ahead of the fingers and we're going to be using just the thumb, index, and middle finger. Ring finger and little finger are going to be out of, out of, the, out of the operation in this, in this case. Now, what we're going to do is play the thumb on the fourth string, down, clear of the strings. Now, play the index finger up and the middle finger up. Open strings, thumb on fourth, second string, and first. Now we're going to add a little bit of complexity to it. We're going to actually alternate the thumb. So the thumb is going to play the fourth string. Now it's going to play the third. Now the index finger plays the second, and middle finger plays the first. So it goes four, three, two, one. And that's the pattern. That's a basic 4-4 four, four pattern, what we call an arpeggio, where we break up the chord in its individual notes. So, for instance, if I take that on open strings, it would sound like this as I speed it up. It's in 4-4 four, four time. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. Put that to a chord, a C chord. See how easy that is? And it begins to flow once you get the, the hang of it. I'm going to change that to an A minor. Now to an F. Back to C. Now like I say, this is in 4-4 four, four time. In another lesson we'll cover a 3-4 pattern. Now, Keep in mind, there are hundreds of variations on any of these arpeggios. This is just one of them, but this is a good basic one to get started with. Try it with all of your chords. Just experiment with it until you, uh, you just you own that pattern. Do it over and over and over again. And pretty soon you're just going to be playing like this very smoothly. And you'll be finger picking. All right, have fun with it and happy strumming. Hi, by the way, on this uh, lesson, I'm using an OU6, an Oscar Schmidt OU6 tenor with a wide neck. This is a kind of a, a new hybrid model that they've come out with this past year. And um, if you can compare it with a standard tenor, from also Oscar Schmidt, you can see the difference in the width of the neck. Now, uh, one of the reasons like I personally like the Oscar Schmitz is that they do have a generous width to the neck on all their ukuleles. But on this OU6 with the wide neck, it's especially especially nice because I, I have played guitar as well as ukulele and mandolin all my life and I've got big fat fingers and I like to have that space between the strings um, that gives me more of a feel of a guitar neck. So if you're a guitar player, um, this model is, it can be really handy for you. If you I, I have a problem with the little sopranos. My fingers just won't work on it. The other thing too is that when you're doing finger picking, as we did in this lesson, that when you have more distance between the strings for the follow through, particularly if you're doing like a, a rest stroke, you can get more bite into the string. A lot more bite, a lot more sound, a lot more projection. So the, the wide neck uh, can be a, 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 you know, a choice for you if you're looking for that uh, more generous uh, 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 fingerboard. And if you, like I say, if you're a guitar player, this would be a good way to go if you're getting into ukulele. The tenors, they got the longer neck, 
uh, bigger body and then this with this wide neck OU6 you've got that that generous width of string and and uh, distance between the string so it's uh, something to consider I've really enjoyed playing with this over this past year all right yeah, by the way, if you have any other topics that you'd like me to cover in any of my advice and tips um, series, please email me.